Hello everybody! In this video we're gonna learn how to make Futurebase from scratch. First, you have to open up FL Studio. And then, open up a piano. I use the key zone, that's a wonderful sound. Then I use a MIDI from the FLP Nation MIDI pack. I participated into this project. And so we have this wonderful MIDI here. So first we're gonna use a very high tempo that is 160. That's what is made today in the EDM Future Bass uh, style. So uh, we're gonna build a lead upon this and then the bass. The bass is basically the easier part uh, of creating a track. So here we go. So for the lead I think I'm gonna try to find the first note first. This one is too much like classic. Those notes are too calm, I think I'm gonna go to... Yeah, it's better. So I'm gonna use this uh, note here. And uh, I'm gonna do something like this. I think I'm gonna do this. Da -na -na -da. So I'm gonna make short notes, like this. Da. Yeah, that's this one. Okay, so here you go. Da -da -na -da. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna repeat this motif here. I'm gonna add this note to create a transition with this note, I think. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not gonna repeat this melody like this, because it's gonna be like no original at all. So I think I'm gonna do longer notes with less variation like this. So here we go. Uh, we're gonna start by this note, I think, like the the first part of the melody. And we're gonna use also these notes, this note, and this note. Like this. No. Na, na, na. Yeah, this one. Oh yeah, so I got a whoop. So we got a nice idea here. Yeah, that's a nice variation that is still using a limited number of notes. So uh, then. Uh, So I think I'm on, a, I'm on a pretty good port uh, on the lead, so I think I've made uh, enough stuff. Now I'm gonna add another layer of piano to add the bass. Yeah, the bass, we love it. So I'm basically gonna pick those notes here, that are the root notes, and I'm gonna go to this piano here and copy this. Okay, so now we are done with the melody, we're gonna add Ceylon Swan layers for the chords, the bass and the lead, and also maybe Serum layers, we're going to see, so here we go. Okay, so to place these chords, I'm gonna use my own uh, waves. Ceylon Swan uh, presets bank, so first I'm gonna use uh, the 12th chord, yeah, I think, oh, that's a good one. That's perfect, that's pretty much a good one, I think I'm gonna reduce the attack. Because it's gonna, it's not gonna give something good. I'm gonna check it. So let's see if it's good. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Okay, 
So uh, now I'm gonna duplicate this. I think I'm gonna get four layers. That's usually what I do uh, in my FLPs. You can find them, for example, with the waves uh, or even Future House Ultimates pack. Generally, I got three or four uh, layers for the chords. So now I'm gonna search for another sound. Oh yes, I want the tiny sound, like to, to fill the top and more harmonics. So here we go, I'm gonna create uh, the notes for this one, and here we go. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, so I'm gonna add one more layer. Um, I'm gonna find something else. Yeah, that's something powerful that I wanted, and that's it. So here we go. Can I duplicate this? Okay, so I like this kind of saw waves. I uh, like a bit uh, Martin Garrix can use in some future bass tracks that he would have made in the time of in the name of love. So yeah, uh, next layer. Here we go. I'm um, gonna add maybe this 12 chord here. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add it. Um, making it all high. So here we go for this one. I had to check and fix the the attack because I don't want something like very tacky like this. Just want a small attack. It's a value one here. So here we go, and now I'm right with this one. So let's listen to the results of the chord without any mixing. Also, one thing that I maybe forgot to check is the polyphony there. But I think that when I made the preset, I just checked everything. Yeah, everything is fine. We are done for the chords, now we're gonna go to the bass. So let us load more silence one. When I go to the bass. So, um, what bass are we gonna use? Oh, yeah, that's pretty much full. There is a kind of feeling with this bass. So I'm gonna use this one. Um, I'm gonna duplicate this layer. And I'm gonna add this one. You actually can use uh, a layer, I know. Like, you just have to click on it, select those and the children, and just copy this pattern here and cut them and just play for you. But you know, I'm a very weird guy, so I don't do this. Okay, so FL Studio just crashed, but anyways, I'm gonna find another another preset. Yeah, I like this one. So let's listen to those two uh, together. Okay, so I shift up those notes because it was very weird. So here we go, now um, we're gonna go with the third preset. I think I'm gonna use a sub bass. So we got four presets here for sub bass. So I think this one is the cleanest one. I'm gonna use it. So um, we got this, and let's see the notes who are played by this uh, sub bass here. Oh, 
Okay, sounds cool to me. Now we are done with the base. We're gonna go to the leads. Wow. So that's the same thing for the leads. I'm gonna pick my sand bank. I'm gonna pick a few presets uh, from this. So here we go. I love this one. So here you go. I guess I pitched too much uh, this thing here. So I'm gonna, yeah, deal with this. That's nice. Next one. This one is cool. Here we go. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. Then I'm gonna use uh, more serums, I think. I prefer serum for my leads uh, in future base because Silence 1 leads are more for EDM, bounce, uh, anything, but not future base, I think. So I'm gonna use uh, a few keys and plugs and <laughs> basic melodic stuff. So here we go. Gonna pick a random key. Here we go. This one, maybe. Ah, sounds cool. Yeah, sounds pretty dope. Yeah, like this sounds pretty cool. So I'm gonna clone. So I clone this one and I'm gonna use uh, something else. So here we go, second one, uh, let's see what I'm gonna use, uh, maybe this lead here? No. Oh, this one hurts me. Here we go. So actually it gives this. I'm gonna add more plug. More plug, 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 plug. Always more plug. Fils de pute. So I got a few plug sounds here. I'm gonna pick uh, this one maybe. No. I want something pretty melodic. Ooh. This one is also pretty cool. So I'm gonna copy paste this. I'm gonna fix this. Yeah, it wasn't the right pitch. And this one is pretty nice. I don't know if I'm gonna use this uh, thing here. I forgot to link those notes here, uh, you know, those notes here. So I'm gonna uh, link them and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna copy this ones here. Yeah, sounds better like this. problem here I didn't see this but yeah pretty embarrassing for me so this one here seems good so I'm copy yeah okay so all the preset together are not mixed give this
and so now we can delete the sweet piano layers. And so, as you can see, we just stacked between 3 and 5 layers. We don't need to layer 15 layers, anyway. That's not necessary. Maybe I'm gonna add a few more nexus uh, sounds, like... Uh, sometimes I use more strings to fill the chords, uh, to not only have a, a synthetic part, but also more organic elements in the chord to give this fullness around this range of frequencies here. But uh, we will see this in the next video about Future Bass, it will be the mixing tutorial. So I'm gonna use EQs, compressors, Fabfitter, Saturns and stuff like this. Uh, we will also make automations on drums, so it will be a very very big tutorial, I think it's gonna like go over 15 minutes. But it's so much important for you to understand everything uh, about this. So see you in the next tutorial. By the way, we just reached the 100 subscribers, so the community tab is now here, an answer to the questions that I ask you, and like this I'll be able to produce the content that you want. See you in the next tutorial, goodbye!